guys. Uh, it's been a little while since I started filming this video. Three days, I think, to be exact. Um, yeah, that's because my phone decided to run out of storage <laughs> towards the end of me filming the whole uh, Home Depot box store plant tour. So I wasn't able to show you guys what I ended up buying, and that's what we're going to do now. Yay! <laughs> Alright, enough of that. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first one I ended up getting is this uh, Pia Tree Ivy or Fatshadera Litsii. I know I'm not saying this right at all. Please don't come for me. But look at it. Ah. <laughs> it reminded me of a, a Japonica Aurelia and I really love those japonicas and this looked like a miniature variegated version I know it's not the same plant but it looked like it and I'm all about tiny plants that I love <laughs> I honestly don't have a lot of room so the smaller the better <laughs> and yeah this uh, little guy he was about five dollars and I couldn't say no <laughs> next up is this little this little cactus, this Opuntia Kimilo, I believe. He's just two little chonks, and it turns out that there's a chonk from a different cactus stuck to the side of this one, so I actually got like two cactuses in one. And he was about five dollars, I think, as well. It's a little, it's a little pricey for two chonks, but my other chonky cactus isn't doing the greatest, so I'm going to pot this up with them and hopefully it'll inspire him to grow, or at least having a friend might make him feel better. That's my reasoning. Ow, he just poked me. I guess I deserve that. Okay, the last one I got from this Home Depot is this tiny little ZZ. Look at him. I've never seen a ZZ this tiny. And look at the way he's growing. It's kind of like a little tornado pattern. I thought it was really cool. And my dad, one time when I went to Home Depot with my dad, he saw like the larger ZZ plants and he seemed to like them. But he wasn't going to spend a lot of money on like the bigger ones. So I got him this one. And I'm going to give it to him for Father's Day. I know it's a couple months away, but I'm going to keep him alive till then. And I knew that if I left him and tried to buy him closer to Father's Day, it wouldn't work out. So yeah, so this one's for my dad as a present. Dad, if you're watching, no you're not. You didn't see anything. <laughs> Act surprised. Yesterday, I actually ended up going to Home Depot again. And I was just there to pick up uh, some plastic saucers for some of my plants because I've been switching them out as I've been treating my plants. I'm still treating my plants, guys. I know. You're probably sick and tired of hearing me talk about my thrip treatments. But they're still happening. So yeah, I went there for saucers and to get a dowel rod to stake my philodendron narrow because... Oh my gosh, there's a whole story about the philodendron narrow, but I'm going to save that story for when I stake them, and I'll probably stake them in a video. Yay! Alright, so I went there just for those two things, and I was like, let's go look at the plant section. I, I need to see it. I need to see the plant section. So, headed on over. They had pretty much the same stuff as the other Home Depot that I saw, except I found a Tenanth, I believe it's called, that was really beautiful, but too expensive, it was like $30, I know. And then when I was leaving the plant section, on my way to check out, I found this guy. I found a Philodendron Mykins, like, I've never seen one in person, guys, at all. I, I saw this guy. He was the only one left. 
I saw him peeking out from some pothos, and I was like, oh my god, is that a Mikan's? And usually, like, I'm not... I've never really, like, had the urge to buy a Mikan's, but when I saw this little guy, this leaf got me. Like, just, he's so pretty. And when I touched him, oh my god, he's so soft. I didn't expect Mikan's to be soft, so that just sold me. I was like, okay, I'm taking you home for $5.98. Yes. Yes, you're coming home with me. So, here we are. He is looking a little rough in some places, but I, I think he'll be fine. He, he looks strong. He's a survivor. <laughs> he was the last one. This leaf, I don't know what's going on with it. It kind of looks like it might be because it's overwatered, I want to say. I'm, I have no experience with Mikan's whatsoever, so. But I am pretty okay with taking care of philodendron. My other philodendron say they're happy, so <laughs> I think I'll be okay with this guy. I'm not going to trim off any of his damaged leaves just yet. I'm going to wait for him to acclimate to my space and I'm going to repot him and I'm also going to spray him down like I'm doing with my other plants. Any new plant I'm bringing in, I'm automatically going to spray with Captain Jacks and treat the soil when I repot it with that systemic. Just because I don't want any more surprises. Okay, I love surprises when they're good, but when they're <laughs> pest surprises, no thanks. Speaking of pests, side note, sorry, we're going to go on a, tan a little tangent, a little side road real quick. I found some snails in my pepper plant. Like my ornamental pepper plant that my dad got me. <laughs> I feel terrible, but I let it go, I guess, too long without watering. They're, they were really thirsty for some reason. Anyway, I was cleaning up all the dead leaves, all the dead peppers, just cleaning it out. And I found three snails. And one was running. Like, I know... I know snails don't run, but you know, he was going, you know, heading down to the soil. And it come, like, come to find out, I saw one of the shells just like waving, and I was like, there's no snail in that one. And I checked the other one, two of the shells have no snail, one has a snail. So when I go to repot that, I'm going to have to do some snail relocation. But out of the three plants in the pot, one of the pepper plants seems to be okay. He's growing back new leaves and he's thriving, but the other two, I think they might be dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, another side tangent, side note. Sorry, we're going on a couple side quests in this video, but I found, I went to, um, I went to Five Below on the way home yesterday and I found a plant stand like a really decent plant stand at five below for five dollars dude like if you have a five below near you or you need some plant stands go 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 get it because it's it's a decent plant stand and i've been on the hunt for plant stands i've been like hunting down pots and plant stands like crazy like i think i have a problem because <laughs> i have to take stock of what i have because I think I have way too much now, but I didn't realize it at the time. I still was under like the mindset that I need it. I need the pots. I need the stands because I don't have it when in reality I do have it. You know, it's a whole thing. Anyway, coming back to the point. So that's my haul from the two Home Depots. Comment a really cool plant find that you found in your Home Depot lately. I'd like to know. <laughs> I'd like to hear it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.